Mr. Nguyen. Number six. In cell J2, determine if Adam could transport team member. He could transport team member if he's 23 years age or older. Use an if formula to determine whether Adam could transport team member. Type an equal sign, if, press the tab key, cell C2 is for age, instead of C2 appearing, it's the structure reference for C2. So C2 is age, and if age is more than 23, or equal to 23, then return a value yes, put yes in quotation marks. Separate by a comma, and if Adam is not more than 23 or equal to 23, then return a value no, close parentheses, press enter, and it returns the value no cannot transport team member, he is only 18. He has to be 23 or older. The second team member, yes, can transport team member because he or she is 28. Number seven, determine whether Adam is a group leader or not. Indicate in cell K2. Use if or function. If Adam is a group leader based on service year more than three, or if college graduate status is a yes, then return a yes or show a no. Let's find out by using the if or function. Type equal sign, type if. Press the tab key, type OR, tab. Now comes the logical test. If service year is more than three, which in cell D2, click on that. It shows the structure reference of D2. A normal reference would show D2, but because this is part of a table, a special syntax for D2 appears. This syntax is called structure reference. We want to type in greater than 3, comma, the next test in cell H2, college graduate. Type in equal yes in quotation mark close parentheses now we have the two logical tests it says if service year is more than three or if Adam is a college graduate then now we want to type in yes Otherwise, indicate a no. Close parentheses. Press enter. The whole column for K autofills. Let's do a test. Look at K2. It shows no. Adam is not a group leader. That's because service years needs to be more than three or college graduate has to be a yes but Adam is neither of those that's why he's a no not a group leader